Well, here we are again, back at the pig pen. <laughs> Another pig video, sorta. Uh, we built, I say we, I built all this stuff to try to load up the pigs and get them ready for processing. For you guys that have been keeping it one with my channel, know it's coming close to processing day. It's almost here, a couple more weeks. Pigs won't load up and apparently they, they got to clean the water barrel too. So apparently they knocked it over last night. So I got to fix that now. I just seen that <laughs> as I was getting ready. But uh, yeah, the, 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 the pigs are not going to make it to the processor. They're going to be processed here on the farm. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I built all this stuff here. I got to tear it right back down. Get this trailer out of here. Shut the gate back. Get it just like it was. And then in two weeks, we're going to start processing the pigs. I'm going to do one on a Friday, maybe two. And uh, Saturday, I'll have more help. My son and my son-in-law is going to be here. So we'll try to get two on Saturday if we only get one on Friday. And then try to get the last one on Sunday after church. We'll have everybody come back over again. Well, well me and my son-in-law. And uh, See what happens. about time to start being real homesteaders, isn't it? <laughs> we always pay somebody to process these things. I'm tired of paying for them. Well, the main thing was I don't have a lot of time to do it. And uh, we also wanted that USDA inspection on there so we could start selling them. I got to where after I couldn't get them loaded for five days, they just wouldn't eat on that trailer. So they were they just sort of worked on my heart a little bit. And uh, I just said, you know what? Let's, they got to go in January anyway. I'm tired of I'm going broke feeding them. So we're just going to go ahead and process them ourselves is what this video is coming down to. I also want to get the muscadines here in a minute. But first, uh, I want to go ahead and feed these guys. Of course, fix the water back. Get these guys happy. I can get out here with a drill, start tearing all this stuff apart and pulling this luxurious trailer out of here. <laughs> If you guys are wondering how much feed I go through in a week, uh, I go through 500 pounds a week. At, every Friday I pick up 500 pounds uh, at 27.50 per hundred. So we're going through a lot of feed. That's why I say we got to get these pigs out. I regulate the three over there, Al and two girlfriends, and uh, these others over here, all these six, I bulk feed them. Once the boys are gone, the two girls, I'll go back to regulating the ladies that we leave over here. But right now, 500 pounds a week. And one thing about us processing them ourselves, it's going to save us. Now, we're processing four at, I don't know, 100 and a half per pig, maybe. Maybe close to 200. That's a lot of money. So we'll put that back in our pocket. I guess we can start taking some of this down while we're waiting on the water to fill up. If the pigs will leave me alone.
Well, that was simple enough. There wasn't nothing to it. Take out a few screws, throw some pallets over to the side. We'll listen to that wind pick up right as I start videoing. But anyway, they're happy. Pigs over there are happy. <laughs> like I say, we're going back to process. We're going back. We're going to start processing our own. Uh, shouldn't be nothing to it. Everybody out there is doing it. I think we're the last ones to be processing our own pigs. A lot of time we send them to the, most of the time we send them, every time we send them to the processor out of convenience. But this time we wanted that USDA stamp on there just to sell legally here on our farm. Listen to that wind. It is a windy day. We got a storm coming in tonight. But uh, that's what we wanted. We wanted that USDA stamp. But uh, that's okay. My son, he don't care about that. I don't care about that. Uh, <laughs> I want some pork in the freezer. And uh, hey, it's gonna be easy peasy. I'm super excited. These right here, I'll come get these here in just a second. I got a new present uh, from Santa Kim for Christmas to help to get these out of the ground. So stick around, we're gonna snatch them out. Then we'll jump in the vineyard. Let's see how good this thing works. Uh, Santa Kim got this for me for Christmas. <laughs> I guess it's a Viver, Vivor, Viver, Viver. Southern you call it Viver. Let's see how this thing works. I can already tell you it's a piece of junk. Piece of junk. That gap ain't wide enough to put around the T-post. They give you these stupid hooks. <laughs> I'm gonna hit that electric wire. They give you these stupid hooks to run a chain around it. I, I've tried it before with a tractor and I couldn't get the T-post out with a tractor but just by using this leverage, you can pull the T-post up as long as that gap is big enough. Vivor, Vivor, piece of junk. Good. <laughs> look at that. I've already been it. Right, look at that. Look at that. Boy, I wish I was doing a product review on this hunk of junk. Look at that. And these things weren't hardly nowhere in the ground. Look at this piece of junk. I'm done with this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go have some fun with my grandbabies. My grandbabies are gonna be here in a minute. Uh, my daughter called and asked if I'd babysit. Uh, we're gonna let Mason play on his Christmas present. And Jackson and Emma, I'm gonna put them on the tractor and find them something to get into. See if I can do this without the camera holder. <laughs> we don't have the camera holder. We just wanted to close out the video real quick because <laughs> we're running out of light. And uh, we just got out here and played. 
I'm supposed to be babysitting, so Mason wanted to ride his motorcycle, so of course he gets to ride the motorcycle. They want something to ride, so we rode the what? Tractor. Yeah, we rode the tractor. They love to ride the tractor. And I said, what the heck? We'll go back here and plow up our garden for the summer. Uh, we're going to really turn this thing around this year. <laughs> I say it every year. This is going to be a good garden this year, though, isn't it? Uh -huh. You going to help me this year? Uh-huh. And Nana, she going to help? Uh-huh. Jackson, what are we going to grow this year? Okra. Uh, okra. What else? He loves okra. Cabbages. Cabbages. Yeah, we're just going to have some fun this year. Hopefully get the grandbabies. They're getting older, so we're going to try to get them out here in the garden with us. It'll influence me to get out here a little more. And uh, me and Kim both need to get out here and work on our garden a little more. <laughs> Every year, that's the worst thing we do on this farm is our garden. It never, never really pans out all that well. We focus on everything else so much. But but anyway, I ramble on. We're going to close this video out, right? Uh-huh. Just want to say we love you guys to death. Dirt down. Right, and we got to go get the dirt down, right? Or something, I think that's what he said. But we're going to close this video out. Love you guys to death, and we will see you on the next one.